so funny. Look, I'm about to cry because I was so scared. <laughs> you are now watching Kimberly TV. Hi, guys. I'm back again today. I'm going to tell you guys a story time. So, in honor of Valentine's Day, this is probably going to come out after Valentine's Day because I already made a video specifically dedicated. Valentine's Day, but Valentine's Day is in two days, and in honor of that, I'm gonna tell y'all this story about it was like the craziest Valentine's Day ever. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. So it's so funny because George is a big part of the story, but this is why you do not mess with me, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all this story. So it was the day before Valentine's Day, right? We was in the car, we was coming from getting food. We had got some food, we was coming from getting food. And me and Joe was arguing in the car. So he gonna try and like, he like pushed me into the window or something. I can't remember what he did, but it was so stupid and like uncalled for. And then like, he wanted to come up the stairs. So I was like, you're not coming to my house after you just like did too much. I don't know, I don't know. I can't remember exactly what he's fighting about, I already told y'all. But anyway, so we get out. So the first thing I did was I tried to go upstairs. So he starts to run. Now mind you, it's snowing outside. It's February, it's snow on the ground. It's snow, it's icy. My stairs at my apartment is never shoveled. So it's snowing, it's ice on it's everything is froze to the steps. So I, I run up the stairs. So he starts running up the stairs. So I go down the stairs and sit in my car. So then after a while I was just like, whatever. So I go up the stairs. So he's trying to run up the stairs and I went to go. No, was it? Was I already at the door when you feel? Or was I going back down the stairs and that's how you feel? Nah, you was at the top. I think. With all the stuff, yeah. So, I had Chinese food. Chinese food, I had like... No, 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 you was at the door and then I was uh, Running. Going, going back down because I was like, fuck it, I'm going to leave. And then okay. I okay, so... I finally went back up the stairs. Now, I got all these bags. So, I set the food down or whatever. I'm trying to open the door. I'm trying to get in the door now. We got 82 different locks, you know, so it's harder for people to break here. Yeah. So I'm unlocking the door. All I know is Jordan like, blah, 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 blah. boom, boom, boom. I, I look back. This man is on the ground. It's not funny because it was like a really tragic thing. I, I, go. Yeah, my ears is. I don't know why. Mo look at her. Mocha, go. Look at her and then she scared him. Mocha, move. Go over there and daddy see. Anyway, so so then all I hear is bang, bang, bang. He then fell down like he was like laying on the ground, like in the snow hole his head. So I, I was laughing. I'm not even gonna lie, I started laughing. I was ha, that's what you get, that's what you get. Anyways, back to the story. So I'm like, ha ha, that's what you get. So I'm laughing. So I didn't got in. I took my jacket off and everything. And Jordan still hadn't came in. So he gets in, the comes in, open the door, and he was standing there and he had like limped up to the door. I'm like, you so dramatic, boy. You hit the ice. Like, calm down. He was like, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I was like, what? I'm like, you ain't no dizzy. He like, I'm dizzy. Next thing I know, this man just passes out. In my doorway, this man just collapses. And then he like collapsed on his foot because one, like I said, he was limping. So one foot, yellow card. <laughs> so his foot like bent, like when he just fell, his foot bent. So I'm gonna smack her. I'm like, get up, get up. So he get up and then he was like screaming, like holla, holla, hollering because he was on the foot. But I didn't know why he was, I'm like, what is wrong with you? He like my leg, my leg. So now I'm trying to like pick him up and snatch the leg. And I don't know if he was too weak from being passed out or what. So I'm trying to like snatch the leg from under him. So we finally get it. So then he's sitting, I'm like, you cannot sit now. When we first come in, like I said, it's snow on the ground and everything. So he just sitting in a puddle of water at this point. I'm like, you cannot sit right here. So I'm trying to get him up, strip him all at the same time because he's soaking wet. So I get him up, I set him in a chair. He was just like, eh, I'm tired. I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, I hit my head. It hurt. So, you know, when somebody hit their head, you're not supposed to let them go to sleep immediately. Like, it's like, you know, that's how they get concussions and stuff. So, all I know is he talking. This man just goes, just closes the eyes and those up. And I mean, this man was sleeping for real. So, I'm smacking him. I'm just smacking him. So, y'all know my mama nurse. So, I'm like, oh my God. So, I'm still screaming at him, hitting him in the face. I'm like, where's my phone? So, I'm running around because. 
I don't know, like, I was taking my jacket off, but when he came in and fell, I kind of just, like, threw everything everywhere. So, I'm looking around for the phone, and the phone, I'm like, Mom, you gotta come home! Jordan is dying! <laughs> Jordan is dying in the chair! She like, what do you mean he died in the chair? I'm like, he hit his head on the stairs, and now he died in the kitchen, he in the kitchen! She was like, do we need to go to the Oh, my God, check his pulse! So, she got me doing all this crazy stuff, and this man still sleep the whole time so i'm hitting him so i'm shaking him so then like after a few minutes he like finally it probably wasn't a few minutes it probably's like a minute and a half but you know in that panic it probably had to be two more than two minutes because i had to go find my phone but in that moment i'm like oh my god like he's dead so like in that moment i'm like he is like you know like i'm like he unresponsive he why is the dog back here again lay on my coat anyways so he was unresponsive or whatever so I'm shaking him so he finally gets up. I'm like, Jordan, what the hell? I'm screaming at him at the top of my lungs by this point. So then my mom was on the phone with her boyfriend and she was coming home from work and me and her boyfriend comes over. He was like, I'll go over there and see. I don't know what he's gonna come do with Jordan did stuff because he can't, he can't recess us, he can't do nothing. But he was like, I'll come over. So he ended up coming first. So by this time Jordan was awake. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? Do you remember what you said? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what you said? Mm -hmm. Like when you woke up, can you tell him what, to, what you said? When you woke up, how was it? In the chair? Yeah, when you woke up from your state, what was going on? I don't know, because it was just darkness. And then I woke up seeing your face, you was like. <laughs> hey, he was basically telling me, like, he took a nap. He like, I just took a nap. I'm okay, I just took a nap. So I'm like, yo, I passed out. He was like, was I passed out? Then he's laughing. I just wanted to punch him in his eye because he thought it was so funny. Look, I'm about to cry because I was so scared. <laughs> but look, I'm so emotional. I'm about to cry. But I was like, yeah, I was dead. He was like, I was taking it out. Ha ha. Was I really dead? So then he's laughing. I was like, I hate you. So then after that, I just stripped him and put him in the bed because, like I said, he was wet with snow and then he had fell outside too. So I stripped him and laid him down. His ankle was roasted because I don't know how he hit the ankle on the stairs, but I know he had fell on it and bent it back. So I put him in the bed. Then my mom's dude ended up coming over and he's like, Are you okay, bro? What the f is going on? And then Jordan was like, I'm okay. I mean, she said I passed out. I mean, I, I don't really know what happened. I'm just like, oh my God. Then my mom comes home. My mama checking his post, rolling, rotating the ankle, and doing all this. And he's still here today. And then he had to limp around and get all my Valentine's Day stuff the next day. I'm like, you can't go anywhere. So he ended up spending the night because he was so out of it. He couldn't drive or anything. And there was no point in me driving him home. Cause I was not gonna get back. I mean, like if I drove his car, then I was not gonna get back. And if I drove my car, why would I leave his car? Then I'm gonna get back. It was a lot. So he just ended up spending the night that night. He had him a nice shower and was snoring my head off. But yeah, I just want to tell you that crazy story time. And take oh, look at the dog behind me. Yeah, we can pull out my back. In the um, spirit of what is it Valentine's Day. So like I said, this probably come out the day after Valentine's Day. Cause I already gave you all a Valentine's Day story time say F Valentine's but this one was just so crazy I can't believe that and then what happened this year that we were seeing some crazy always happened to you on Valentine's Day couldn't find his keys so that was the that was the, I fell in the same place no I, wait did I fall in the same place you fell in the same exact same place exactly. he fell in the sack that's what just made me keys over the, the stairs it was the dumbest thing that ever happened to me so I just wanted to come tell you that story time but I'm out what, what is my dang thing I can't never remember it. I know, but I just been forgetting it. So this concludes this video. Until next time, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm out, and I can't wait to be back again.